Hey everybody, we're doing a video on a Delta Sky Loop antenna full wave 80 meter. And this is Kilo Uniform Force here on Mike Charlie. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I built. All right, let me see here. Let's take it around a little bit. All right, here we go. All right. There's my one mast, DX Engineering mast. Put my CMI glasses on. And I don't edit, I don't edit my videos and stuff like this. Put them up. I put a, uh, sorry about that, y'all. I put a uh, standoff right there, aluminum tubing, schedule 40. Put my mast up there. Got it connected to the standoff and I got my guy rope there and there is my wire and if you shoot across there you'll see a wet noodle that's the other mast and it connects to here up there there's my, my wire I'm used to 12 gauge and I'll take you up a little closer up. And y'all, this thing kicks butt. I built one in the fall, but I orientated this one horizontally, vertical polarized. There's my balance up there. A four, uh, balance by design. Um, balance by design, it's a four to one hybrid with a one to one the current balance in it. And it is, kicking butt y'all up there are my bow lines or bow lines knots into my my two sides where the where the connectors go a little bit for the antenna and here is my other one right there swinging in the wind it's blowing about 10 to 20 today that's, that's, that's on a little, little flex side, but it's got a guy rope on that too. But, yeah, I'll take you up forward, let you see more. And it goes completely over top of my whole building. Um, I got a guide, and you see the rope there. All right. Then it goes from here to there. I got my roof right in the center of it. There's my other pole. And that goes back to the other side. There you, there you go. And it goes up. All right, I'll show you what kind of wire I use. And y'all, it reaches 80 all the way to 6 meter every single band. Um, it was, let's go inside and I'll show you. But yeah, y'all, that was, that's kicking butt. I'm telling you one thing. We'll build my own antennas now. And this, I'll show you what kind of wire I use. It's in my other videos, but we'll tune up another day uh, on, the, on the radio. Um, let you see all the bands it tunes up on and Perfect, perfect match. Wanna come inside, girl? That's my little ham dog. Have hey, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. But yeah, y'all, uh, there's a big mess in here. But man, y'all, I got mm -hmm. this line counter on e eBay. That's a Hikon model 410, 1410. And I'm telling you one thing, it takes a lot. If you're big and big antennas, this helps. And there's my final cut mark. Uh, 288 feet. Uh, nine. I'm mean 288. 289 feet to be exact. And I cut off 12.6. And I think it gave me a measurement of 277. 
277 uh, feet is what what's up there now. I had to trim off tw uh, about 13 feet. So yeah, uh, that it, it came out great. It came out great. All right, but yeah, this little it's got the size for the big rope and it's got the size for the wire right here. I'm using 12 gauge. And this is what I'm using. Anchor Marine Grade. I'm I'm a Marine. Yeah, U.S. Marine. Plus, I've done a lot of boating and boat wiring and stuff over the years from my dad and myself. But Anchor Marine Grade, 10, ten copper, 10 copper wire, uh, 12 aug. And that stuff rocks. It is, here it is. It's solid copper, but it's tinned also. That you want to make a good antenna that lasts forever, make it out of that. That's some good stuff. But it's tin copper and it's got an awesome jacket. It's gas, UV, oil resistant, you name it. I mean, if it's made for boats, it's good stuff. Because being around the salt water, like we, you know, we always salt water fish, but. Anyway, y'all get y'all get the idea, but y'all, I, I am also happy as heck. Well, hey, y'all, I want to say thank you for watching, and uh, yes, yeah, yeah that, I got the meter for a sub brand new for like six hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Um, I got it for around uh, two hundred dollars plus thir um thirty dollars shipping. It'll be around forever. You know, you build all the antennas you want, and it's dead on, dead on. I took my stick stick measure, good old trusty stick measure, and measured it, and it's it's working like a charm. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. God bless and simplify. And uh, yesterday I reached Brazil on ten meters. I reached uh, Washington State, and the bands were bad yesterday. I was on edge of a solar storm uh reached england on 40 meters and it's omnidirectional it's omnidirectional it goes <laughs> anywhere i uh, washington state uh texas i've talked all, all around all around G good signal all the way around i got good signal importance even though the bands are s2 s3 unsettled but anyway hey y'all thanks for watching god bless and simplify please subscribe Hoorah. Y'all take care now, y'all. All right, bye-bye. Okay, y'all, I'm going to add this clip in here. Uh, sorry about that. I should have added it in there. There's the front part of what everything looks like. Uh, I hope it's not too much eyesore for my neighbors. But just a pole sticking up there. Five last pole. And we'll get a guide rope. And there's my wire. And it goes from there. Then it goes to that point there underneath my bush comb. Horizon 6.7. There. Then it goes up my tower. And it goes down to the other pole. And it comes across here. And there she is. And I used a pulley system, the plastic pulleys, uh, the t or nylon pulleys. Um, but yeah, y'all, homebrew antenna worked great. And I'll show you some more updates on it. Okay, y'all here. Get all the way back down, but yeah, that's what she looks like. And I got a picture of everything and show you what's going on. All right, y'all take care. 73. It's Kilo Uniform 4, Sierra Mike Charlie. All right, bye bye.